is just a jumping challenge. Get past all the enemies. Fortunately, they don't do enough damage, and those bats give the uh, refills with enough consistency that you really should not have a trouble in this section. Ah. Bats. Oh well. Let's ride this thing down. Kills a bunch of enemies for you, very convenient. And you want to jump off at the end here. Now coming up is another pressure enemy, so I'm going to try to kill it from behind. my buttons. Just keep hitting that attack button as often as possible. And see... Aha! Energy extension. Very nice. Very nice. That's one of the cool things about Mega Man X is that you can have those uh, hidden tanks, the hidden uh, sub-T sub-tank, which will refill your life all the way. And a life extension. And what I'm doing now is I'm destroying these bats to get uh, energy upgrades. Because right after this is the boss fight. And normally you get a lot of energy already from uh... You can do that too. That's a pretty cool move, but uh, you might get hit by those birds, which is why I don't always recommend doing it. Unless you're awesome like me and have mad skills. And here we go, Armored Armadillo. Fortunately has a predictable boss pattern. As you can see when he rolls across the screen, gets the bottom left. That hit me. It's the bottom left. Ah, well, you'll wait and see till he uh, rolls a couple of more times. He usually rolls uh, anywhere between one and six times, rolls across the screen. That was once. The first time he hits the uh, bottom left, then he hits the upper left, then he hits the bottom left. Ah, killed me. I need to spend time, spend less time talking to you guys about how to defeat the boss and actually show you how to do it. But he will hit bottom left, upper left, bottom left, upper left. I'll point this out next time he does a good roll. But aside from that, I generally try to jump up here during his entire attack because those blue things are hard to dodge. I find them hard to dodge. Bottom left. Yeah, I'll call it. Hits the bottom left there, and... I'll keep calling it until he does at least a three roll, so you can see how it works. Bottom left. Upper left. Bottom left. And if he were to continue, he'd hit the uh, upper left again. In that pattern. Ad infinitum. Whoa, whoa! So basically, this whole uh, boss fight is just a matter of uh, having this pattern memorized and just dodging. Whoa! Now, I usually like to stay up here in the upper left-hand corner when he does a small jump like that because, well, I think, as I said earlier, harder to dodge, easier to hit him when he's farther away, because he gives you more time to dodge. Looks like he's just as hard to hit when he's farther away than, than uh, as he is when he's close by. 
And he does have a third attack, which he has not used yet. I'm surprised, but he will glow blue and shoot blue pellets out. Mega Man jumping in the upper left-hand corner. Oh, come on, man. That was a good run, and here he is. He's down to like less than half energy now. I find it hard to charge and do the jumping thing at the same time just because of the uh, scheme layout of the uh, PlayStation 2 buttons. Maybe it's easier if you're on the SNES. There we go, there's a nice good run showing you how to dodge by going up and down the left-hand wall on every other attack. Alright, this is going swimmingly well. Swimmingly? What does swimming have to do with this? Ha ha! Got him. Ha ha! Now here, see he glows blue and then he does that attack. There you go, that's his second attack. Or his third attack. Maybe he only does it when he's really close to dying. I'm not sure. Yeah, not much to say, um, just keep doing this and eventually he will die. This is basically what happens in any Mega Man game, I guess, if you do the bosses out of the proper order. Is that you will end up with a fight like this, where it's just a lot of dodging in order to get it down, in order to get the enemy down to no health. Now if I had the special weapon which defeated him, he'd go a lot quicker. Etc. Etc. There you go, that was a good run. He's only uh, got what, four or five bars left? Awesome. Ah, whoa. That was close. Uh oh, now don't don't be um, too eager to destroy him. You just keep just keep waiting. I know he's down to two health, but um, you don't want to look like an idiot and die when you're so close to defeating the enemy. So just continue the strategy of taking it easy. There we go. And that's how you kill Armored Armadillo. Alright. What weapon do I get? I get the Rolling Shield. And this is good, but, uh, since I'm in the PlayStation version, I can save the game and then load it later without having to memorize the password. Pretty cool!